Luke Jay from Global News that brings you the best. And today we are going to talk about the secret of Ratan Tata's success in life. Ratan Tata is a name that immediately draws recognition from all the Tata groups and has earned reverence not only as a successful industrialist but as a great human being and philanthropist. Recognized as the best chairman in India, he has always put social and employer welfare above commercial gains at 73. He heads one of the India's largest conglomerates, which comprises nearly 100 firms, totaling a revenue earning of US dollar 67 billion. He became the chairman of Tata Sons in 1990 and then again as interim chairman in 2016. During his tenure, Tata Group reached to great heights. Its revenue grew 40 times and profit grew 50 times. Let's look at his life story and try to learn a chapter or two from his book. Childhood and Early Life Ratan Tata was born to one of India's most prosperous industrial families in Mumbai in 1937. His grandfather Jamshedji Tata was the founder of Tata Group who pioneered industrialization in India after independence. Tata went to Cornell University in the US to study architecture and structural engineering and later, despite being the future chairman of Tata Group, he started his career at the root level working alongside Blue Collar Employee and Tata Steel Division in 1971. Tata was appointed the director in charge of the National Radio Electronics Company Limited NELC which was in a dire need for revival and turned it around. In 1990, he took the helm of Tata Group and assured an array of reforms to modernize group business methods to compete successfully in the new era. During his time, he bought all Tata companies under the one umbrella acquired several com complete produced car Indica and first compact car Nano. Nano is the most economic economically produced car in the Boy was the brainchild of Tata who got concerned about the safety of nuclear families traveling in two wheels. Ratan Tata's achievement. Ratan Naval Tata, who recently turned 84 and the Tata Group as its chairman till his retirement in 2012, followed by a stint as interim chairman in 2017, the industrialist has been the recipient of the Padma Bhushan and Padma Bhushan, two of the highest awards instituted by the Indian government. One of the biggest achievements of Ratan Tata was to make the Tata brand go global, which acquisitions such as Tecla T, Daihu Motors, Truck, truck Manufacturing, Arm in Jaguar, Land Rover apart from Chorus Group. The IT service firm TCS went public in 2004 during Ratan Tata's stewardship. It was during Ratan Tata's tenure that Tata Motors, the auto firm, was listed on New York Stock Exchange. A feathers in Tata Cap has been contribution to India auto sector with the group going on to make a true blue Indian brand, the India. Followed by Nano, which was his own brainchild. During his stint, the Tata Group revenue balloon more than 40 times and its profit by more than 50 times. How did Ratan Tata deal with challenges? A big challenge Ratan Tata faced was when he needed the Ford dealership to sell, sell the Tata group car business. The deal didn't come through but Tata worked towards boosting the auto business. In 2008, nine years later, when Ford was on the brink of bankruptcy, it was Tata who managed to seal the company's Jaguar Land Rover acquisition for over $2 billion. For the testimony to his power to overcome challenges came during the 26 upon 11 terror attacks when he led the efforts to help victims outside the Taj Hotel to quote his own words, If you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk fast, walk together. Be the change you wish to see. Living by the philosophy, Tata has always shown keenness in new ventures and potential technologies. He has made several small and big investments in several startups and next-gen technologies. He invested in Bitcoin Venture Abral along with American Express also. Collaborated with a few Pune-based designers to steal a plan 
destroy clean drinking water to the marginalized section in rural areas. The result in Swatch, an indigenously designed sub thousand water purifier, Tata Motors has also rolled out the first batch of Tigor electric vehicle from its manufacturing plant in Sanan Gujarat. A true leader in all its sense. Tata is a true embodiment of leadership who always believed in putting the human face before commercial gain. He is involved in numerous philanthropic activities providing quality life, education in rural India. He has received great recognition in his lifetime. In 2000, the government of India decorated him with Padma Bhushan and in 2008, he received Padma Vibhushan. Apart from that, he was awarded several international accolades including honorary doctorates from Ohio State University, University of Warwick and Asian Institute of Technology, Bangkok. His fortune stands at a staggering volume of GBP 300 million, but he owns less than 1% in a colossal conglomerate of Tata Group. Majority of Tata Group shares are owned by several charitable trusts that finance several philanthropic activities. A remarkable human being and industrialist, Amazingly, Ratan Tata never featured in Forbes billionaire list. Here's your news anchor, UJ. From Global News, thank you and have a nice day.